Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of RTHF. It is time to start talking about our July books. I'm so, so excited. Uh, if you are new to my channel, my name is Crystal and this is Bond Book Reviews where we put out weekly bookish content to help you get over that hump day and start your weekend right. We put out videos every Wednesday evening and every Friday morning. So without further ado, let's get into some of the July 2021 romance releases that I am super excited for. If you are unfamiliar with what RTHF is, I will have the playlist link for you down below, but it is a series that I release on my channel every Wednesday evening talking about some upcoming releases that I am super excited for in the book world. Now the first one that we have on our list is actually a sequel to a very well-known series in the romance community, and that is Isn't It Romantic by Lisa K. Adams. This is the fourth installment in the Bromance Book Club series which I have absolutely adored. I'm currently listening to book number three at the moment, getting ready for this fourth one, which comes out on the 27th of July. Can't happen soon enough. I am so flippin' excited. I have absolutely loved this series. It is the typical romance witty banter, but there's a really cool twist because it follows a bunch of men and they're reading romance books in order to determine how to treat their wives better. And if you don't think that that sounds funny enough, just give the first one a read and you will understand how funny it actually is. The next one is Heartbreak for Hire and this one is by Sonia Hill and this one comes out on July 27th. It follows a character by the name of Brinkley and she works for a company called Heartbreak for Hire. And this is a secret service that specializes in revenge for jilted lovers frenemies and long-suffering co-workers with a little cash to spare and a man who needs to be taken down a notch. But when her boss announces that there will be male heartbreaks for hires hired, uh, it's a bit awkward when one of the new hirees happens to be an ex-target that Brinkley had to take down. I can just see this being like a really good enemies to lovers kind of situation, which we all love, like, everybody loves when characters hate each other and then fall in love. I personally love it because I love banter in my romance novels and I think this one is going to be chock full of it. The next one is out on July 13th and that is The Rehearsals by Annette Christie. And this is actually the debut novel from this author and it very much has a Groundhog Day-esque kind of experience. There is a couple that are getting ready for their wedding and during the wedding, wedding rehearsal dinner, everything goes to shit and they decide that they no longer want to get married. However, they wake up and they're back at the rehearsal dinner again and this continues to happen until they can sort their shit out. <laughs> I love something like this. I just think it's going to be really funny. But I am worried that with it being Grand Hog Day-esque, it might be a little bit repetitive. So it would be interesting to see if the author manages to do this well or not. And the last one is one that we are all so excited for, and that is Ride to the Sun by Leah Johnson. I don't need to say anything else about this. I just need to say that it is by Leah Johnson, and you should instantly want to buy this as much as I do. But this one comes out on July 6th, so nice and early in the month, which is fantastic. I absolutely loved You Should See Me in a Crown, and I put Leah Johnson down as an auto-buy author. Auto-buy auto author after that. So... That's all I needed to know. I saw that it was from her and I don't even care. I saw the cover, I saw it was from her and I was like, need, need, need. I haven't even looked any further into it. I'm just super, super excited. So those are the four books that I'm super excited that are coming out in the month of July in the romance category. Is there any that you are super excited about that I haven't mentioned? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you want me to read one of these and review it, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best for you. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you get notifications when I put new videos like this out every Wednesday evening and whenever I put my other bookish content out on Friday mornings. And until next time, guys, happy reading.